In this next topic, quick headline title, four ways a Tesla can pay for itself, or really four ways a Tesla will pay you back for the price you bought it for. So let's take a look at this article and see exactly what it's talking about, but it kind of does make sense. Teslas are very good value propositions. When you buy it, you do save money in a lot of different ways. But on the flip side, there is a lot of other things that are more expensive with a Tesla as well. So let's take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Shout out to Yahoo Finance. Four ways that Tesla will pay you back for the price you bought it for. So number one, all like all EVs, but because that makes sense, a lot of EVs will save you money on gas and maintenance. But the one thing here is that if you're going to be home charging, you're going to have to install a home charger in your house which is gonna cost some money. I mean, there are ways to save money on that. There's plenty of authorized Tesla installers, especially if you're looking for one in the California market, definitely send me a DM. And there's ways to get the chargers for a lot cheaper as well. But that is one big upfront cost that you have to kind of think about and go through that process. The next one is regenerative braking extends your range and spares your brakes. That is 100% correct, but that's kind of like, kind of like the same with maintenance. Uh, with you use regenerative braking, you don't have to use your brakes as much. But the flip side to that is because if we're talking about how how EVs drive and how Teslas drive because they drive with instant torque, you will or could go through tires a lot more quicker because if you're zipping off the line, you're going to be wearing down those tires quicker. So that's why a lot of people recommend some sort of tire warranty with your purchase. Connectivity and over the air updates continuously add value. I don't agree, disagree with that. Tesla, when you buy a Tesla and how it, ha it has all these different updates, it kind of does feel like you're getting a newer and newer car every single day and on top of that one could argue that all these different efficiencies with the technology do save you time as well kind of like how we all have a smartphone now and uh, you would not go back to a flip phone because of all the different if time efficiencies with your smartphone. The next one is they retain their value well over time. Well, maybe this person didn't really take a look at Tesla values because Tesla values have dropped, what, 30 to 40% year over year. So maybe this isn't the best indicator for that. Uh, but definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts are. At the end of the day, there are certain things. One thing that they didn't miss or because they're trying to talk about saving money is that insurance insurance for a Tesla is going to be a lot more expensive than your typical vehicle. I do try and tell people it's going to be anywhere from 10 to 30% more than what you're currently paying. So just be aware of that at the end of the day. But let me know what your thoughts on that. We're going to jump into the next topic.